5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits. Is their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. If I were to ask you, what kind of disease is AIDS? Is it an infectious disease or a non-infectious disease? You might say, well, AIDS itself is actually an infectious disease because we can get it from different people through direct contact. And you would be right, so it is an infectious disease. The next question would be, why is it infectious? What actually makes it infectious? What's the source of this disease? And you might say, well, it's actually a virus. And again, you would be correct as well. It is actually comes from the called the HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, and this virus causes AIDS. Now this dot point we're covering today is distinguish between infectious and non-infectious disease. So we have to tell the difference between infectious and non-infectious disease. One major difference we just had just now was the fact that a infectious disease is caused by a pathogen, whereas a non-infectious disease is not. I'll cover that now in more detail. Before I start, I want to quickly look at a map. So this chart here looks at the world's deaths by major causes. And this orangey part here is your infectious diseases, sorry, your non-infectious. On the right, non-f, which is actually non, non-infectious. Whereas your gray is your infectious diseases. And then the yellow are just your injuries. And what you can see here in 2001, was 58% of the world's deaths that were caused by non-infectious. In 2020, it's predicted that it'll be about 72%. So it's an increase in the death rate for non-infectious disease. And for infectious, is 32% at the moment, and it's predicted to decrease by 21% by 2020. And there's a couple of reasons for that. And what you should also know is that most of our developed countries, such as America, Europe, or Europe, by the way, since it's a continent, but the countries in Europe I'm talking about. So countries in Europe, America, or Australia, all these are developed countries. And here we have the infectious diseases being quite low, but the non-infectious diseases being quite high, because they're all many of them are lifestyle related. Whereas in your developing countries, such as parts of Africa or parts of Asia, you have the infectious diseases being quite high compared to your non-infectious. That's because the sanitation isn't as good in your, in your developing countries as it is in the developed countries. Now we'll go over the difference. What is the difference between non-infectious and infectious disease? We mentioned with the non-infectious diseases that it was not caused by a pathogen. So it is not caused not caused by a pathogen. That's the major difference. And the causes, these are the causes, the ones here. Genetic, lifestyle, or exposure to chemicals. So genetic means that you actually get it from your parents. And a couple of examples would be, for example, Down syndrome. Down syndrome, or type 1 diabetes has a major genetic component as well, so type 1 diabetes. And how that works is if, for example, your parents, these are your parents here, if some of them were carriers or if they had the disease, what that would mean is the chance of the offspring having the disease would be quite high. In this case, both parents are the carriers, and then one of the child has the disease. So genetic, is, genetic diseases are, are an example of non-infectious because it's, whilst it's transmitted from one person to the next, it's not caused by a pathogen. It's caused by sperm and eggs, which is different. And yeah, the examples were Down syndrome and type 1 diabetes. And lifestyle related means you ha your actual behavior influences the chance of getting this disease. So it's behavior related. And a couple of the examples would be heart disease and cancer. Now why are heart disease and cancer, why would they be considered lifestyle diseases? Well, with cancer, for example, if we smoke a lot, then we have a higher chance of getting lung cancer. And smoking is lifestyle. It's, it's your own choice to smoke or not to smoke. So that's why it's your lifestyle which is causing this lung cancer disease. Now, heart disease often comes from eating too many foods which are high in saturated fat. So high saturated fat foods, such as your fatty meats, or your animal products, or your chocolates. These would be examples of food that have a high saturated fat content. And again, it's your choice. You can eat them or you can't eat them. So that's not all of it is caused by these high saturation, high saturated fat levels, but quite a bit of it is caused. And that's why quite a few cases of heart disease are lifestyle related, because you had the choice to have a more healthy lifestyle, 
but you had these different types of meals instead. That's why it's considered lifestyle related. And some of these here, for example, heart disease, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, type 2 is, much of it is lifestyle, some of it is genetic. Um, depression is genetic and a bit of lifestyle. Smoking would be a, not, it wouldn't be an actual disease, but it would cause a disease itself. And overweight, sometimes we consider obesity to be a disease. In this case, if we consider obesity to be a disease, it would be a lifestyle disease. But yeah, some of this, for example, stress. Stress, again, is a cause. So it's not an actual disease, but stress itself causes a lot of diseases. So here we had yeah, a couple of causes and a couple of lifestyle diseases. Now, the last one is exposure to harmful chemicals. And obviously, something like, for example, the chemicals in cigarettes, that's why smoking itself is both lifestyle and exposure to harmful chemicals because smoking has nicotine and different, many different types of chemicals inside of it. And when you smoke that, that will actually damage your cells, your DNA in your cells, and give you cancer itself. And this is just one example of a certain chemical that could cause a problem, a non-infectious disease. And different ones would be to do with, for example, radiation, so chemical radiation, and all that kind of stuff. These are the three factors that cause non-infectious disease. And then a couple of examples would be genetic disease would be Down syndrome, type 1 diabetes. Lifestyle diseases would be heart disease and cancer. And exposure to harmful chemicals would be often cancer. And an example would be if you smoke too much, that smoking can give you cancer. Now, the infectious diseases, again, we mentioned here that they're usually caused by pathogen. And the flu is caused by a virus. That's your pathogen that causes the flu. Food poisoning, in many cases, is caused by bacteria. And bacteria causes food poisoning. HIV, so AIDS, I'd probably say AIDS as the actual disease. AIDS is caused by the virus as well, by HIV virus. Malaria is caused by mosquitoes. But the mosquitoes themselves don't directly give you the disease. But they do it through, they're the vector. What a vector means is a vector is something which gets it from somewhere else. For example, the mosquito might have bitten a rat. The rat might have had the disease, but when it sucked its blood, it also sucked the actual disease into it as well. But then it moves from the actual rat, it moves to a human, and then bites the human, and then transmits the disease through that way. So it's, it's why it's a vector. It gets it from the rat to human via its biting mechanism. And a vector means anything that it does it indirectly. We'll cover those terms more in detail as well. And chickenpox is also done through a virus. These are some examples of infectious diseases. And the most important part is that you know is that there are path caused by pathogens. And that's the big difference between non-infectious and infectious diseases. Pathogens cause infectious diseases, whereas non-infectious diseases are not caused by pathogens. They're not caused by genetic factors, lifestyle factors, or exposure to chemicals. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.